September 4, 1854, and despite the turmoil there, people are working on the railway in Hanoverian Braunschweig. Welcome in everyone, I call myself Sonderskind and I like to play Victoria 3, uh, but we are dealing with some problems, monetary, um, in terms of bureaucracy, and also one thing I would like to do is incorporate Togo and Ghana, which is going to cost... Um, well, let's say with the institutions that we're also expanding about 200 um, bureaucracy. So how much bureaucracy does a government administration currently give per level? It's about 65. So, yeah, I think we slot in these. Then tools are expensive. Uh, low market access still in Braunschweig. That is uh, nothing uh, we're surprised by. And I think, how is our legitimacy here? 54, so I don't want to go under, so I want to keep... Man, 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 man. It is a bit rough. It is a bit rough. Could make it easier this way, but I believe wealth voting needs to pass through the industrialists, so... Uh, we want to keep trying for that. Okay, so it's a bit rough, but uh, at least... We took, uh, we took out the Ashanti Kingdom, and uh, let's uh, keep going. Expanding nicely over here. Well, voting fared poorly. Okay, well, I think that is the end of that reform. And what do we do then? We have total separation. That is pretty good. Um... There's nothing else we could really go for in terms of that. I don't want to expand any ins institutions right now. Mm. We could try for colonial exploitation. Nobody's really against it. So let's do that. That would actually give us an incentive to not incorporate these states. But I do like the idea of incorporating at least the first colony we get. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think very first thing I'll do is slot, uh, let's see, oh, this is the entire thing, slot up the administration in Hannover. No, I really need that railway. We got the millet farm first. I also looked at some of the production methods, and one we could look at right now for branching out is the rail transportation here. There we go. Branching out was successfully completed. And personally, I really like the technology progress. And this can remain the same. Is this actually beneficial? Nope. Okay. So that can stay where it is. You're not going to any different method. So, then we have steam engine time, motor industries 3. Yeah, that's tough. Not sure if we can do that. Maybe if we slot up the motor industries here. Problem is working through that turmoil. Not sure really how to deal with that. And we also really need a government administration now because we're about to start uh, turning a tax waste. So it's all just a bit rough. It takes about a year to complete that one railway. But we'll manage. Slowly expanding over here, but France is going to take most of Volta. So that is kind of sad. We'll just slot in one dye plantation. Maybe we can at least get to the border of Damagram. Damagram? I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce some of these names. Slot in a lot of production over here. We're expanding the colony. Working on central banking. Nassau improving relations with us. Seems good. At some point... Oh, we have Queenine. That's good. Yeah. 
Just need to get slowly out of this deficit as well. We think having these guys linked to a market should help. Not sure where the turmoil is from. But maybe there was an event in, a, in an episode earlier and I forgot. You're working on fishing wharves. What's our investment pool looking like? Still growing? Okay, popular playwright endorses reform. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Let's actually work on production techs since they are cheaper. There is a discount right now. Whereas the intelligentsia aren't giving us that for the uh, society techs. Then, let's... Anyone willing to change their customs union yet? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Denmark relatively closest. How is our GDPs? Um, yeah, we're getting there. At least bigger than Denmark now in terms of GDP. Uh, let's improve relations with Spain and Portugal. Some guys who are also in the same theaters as we are. And I think once we hit zero infamy, we can maybe look to expand ideally against someone like Benin. Um, prove relations truces with us. Damaging relations with the UK, that is great. And Russia and Austria are going to war um, as allies of the Ottomans and Egypt respectively. France also in on the action. So it's a big one. Serbia joining in as well. That is massive. And what is it for? For a treaty port in Crete. The return of Syria. Uh, yeah, Syria is over here. Return of Lebanon. Banning slavery in Egypt. And conversely, France would like to conquer Libya. And Russia would like a treaty port in Dubruja. Interesting stuff. Well, the railway is almost finished over here. Meanwhile, you're working on a rye farm, right? Yeah. Um, let me see the market. Wood is an issue. We have some stuff we could export as well. How are trade routes doing? All of them are doing fine. We still have that input good shortage of lead. That sucks. Did we already slot in a lead mine? Sure did, but it's in Anoverian Braunschweig again. Is this turmoil at least ticking down? No, it isn't. What is causing this turmoil? Could you please tell me? I don't understand. What is causing it? Um, well, what I could do to just get through it a little bit faster is take out the decree over here and violently suppress you all. Great Britain colonizing Mauritania. That is over here. Mauritania. Um, now our infamy is almost at zero. And the only colonial nation I border and try to go for is Dahomey. They're improving relations with... Oi, there's colonial exploitation. That is massive. That's pretty good. Now I would like to do something again for Intelligentsia. Uh, well voting, uh, sad. Um... I mean, census suffrage could be, would be so good, but really can't do it right now. Mm. Maybe we can just be slightly less exclusionary. That seems like a good idea. But can I reform the government with the intelligentsia? No, I really can't. I really, really can't. So let's just have a slightly more legitimate government. And with that, 
No, no, no. No, 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 no. I still like right of assembly. Yeah, no, all, all of this is probably really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not much we can do there, I think. So, just uh, drop it. Drop the government reforms for a while. I feel like that was more fun in the original state of the game. Okay, it was a bit too easy to reform. But I feel like now it's it just drags on and on and on. Um, the Agrarian League. No thanks. And the Free Conservative Party. I guess. Guess that's the lesser of two evils. Infamy is about to go to zero. So... Mm. Let me see. Conquer state. 8.1 infamy. A couple of people might intervene with the added bonus of might. Um, so let's save the game. And how's the time doing? Yeah, yeah. Way too early to stop. That's why I had to make like the intermediate save. Okay, so. Conquer state. I want it for myself. Detail compass. Mobilize. Go there. And let's just hope that nobody intervenes. Nobody's really looking to intervene. Nobody leans one or the other way. Infamy is manageable. This would give us a border with Sokoto and uh, Dahomey as well. And the railway... Oh. Yeah, that's a good technology because now we can get to baking powder. Which gives us a lot more groceries. Happy with that. I think the rest is all still fine. Do this. Do this. Did we get urban trams? Yes, we did. Okay. Next technology. Still, the industrialists are really happy with us, so let's go for... Uh, this would use more lead, right? Yeah, we use more lead. This is canneries. This would use more iron and fish. Um, really would. Like, let's just get through a couple of uh, military techs as well. The armed forces are nearly happy with us. Let's just say we're going to enact dedicated police force. I don't plan on actually enacting it, but I might forget about slotting it out. That might happen. So, nobody wants in on the action. That is fine with me. In 20 days, our general will arrive, and I assume we have better technology than the people of Dahomey. Yep, and they have a shortage as well of artillery. So, that is rough for them. Adolf Ronge retires, so we have a new armed forces guy who is a Republican. Ooh. Oh, maybe we can get something going. If he could team up with the intelligentsia, that would be grand. But first, let's see this war. Everyone is declaring neutrality. Let's jump ahead. Okay, yeah, it's kind of a back and forth here between the Ottomans and Egypt, but here we go. Progress actually wasn't that fast, but there we are. Quite a... Uh, despite the expert defensive strategist, we also have an expert offensive planner, so... Tito Compass is doing work for us. And he is going to win the battle handily. Which is, of course, going to give us yet an extra state. But there is the battle. It is won. Okay. And on we march. We can probably even, like, pay attention to when they accept. And the votes are in Conservative Party yet again. By far the largest. That is so rough. 
Um, so, they want us to kick out the Agrarian League. You know what? I am fine with that. I really would like to do something with this Republican guy, but it's probably not going to work because the other people in the Conservative Party aren't going to agree becoming a Republic. I said this in a Twitch stream as well. I would really like it if the personal ideology of a party leader weighed in much more heavily in what party they want to affiliate with. I feel like like uh, being a Republican would um, kind of hinder being in a party with the aristocracy, you know? Do I sound insane? I don't think I sound insane. Meanwhile, war support heavily tanking over here. Belgium ended a rivalry with the Netherlands. Excellent. So there is another battle up in the north. The starting morale is also now coming down for the uh, Dahomeyan armies. So that is uh, hard on them. War support coming down. And wood is expensive. Uh, ten months until the motor industry stuff uh, times out. Yeah, we're not going to make that. We're not going to make that. Um, so that is sad. But that is just a fact of life. Then we should get an arms industries with... No, uh, arms industries with rifles. Repeating rifles, bold action rifles. Let's just check that our arms industries are up to snuff. They have rifles, and they need to be level 3. Slot that in. In theory, that should work at some point. At some point we should be making money, right? Right? Here's probably the last battle of the war. Discord within the industrialists. I uh, guess that's fine. I guess. Eh? Wasn't the last battle? Cool. But their peace acceptance is going up, going up. Two more weeks and they will be amenable to peace. To being conquered by Hanova. One more week. It's not exactly on the weekly tick. It's now. Peace deal. There we go. Dahomey has been conquered. And, uh... I guess we just say, hey, reset your stuff here. That's good. So we have a pretty sizable West African colony now. And once the infamy again ticks down, we could go for more stuff. We could basically uh, gobble up this entire chunk of uh, of the uh, the coast here. Um, Great Britain is starting a diplomatic play against Tunis, which is independent. So that is uh, really rough for them. And the Hanoverian Niger Delta is isolated, really. Did I not slot in the port there? Well, I should do that. And I would like to get up my prestige. I, I kind of hover around the point where I still need 100 prestige. No matter how much I go up, the, uh, the threshold for moving up rank also goes up. Unproductive trade routes? Uh, no, you're lying to me. Why would you lie to me, game? Why would you do that? Um, I don't know why uh, the game lies to me, but let's uh, watch this port be finished. Really, is that going to take so long? Why? It's just... Uh, eh. It's not even that we have a problem in terms of bureaucracy or stuff. So, um, yeah. We are actually at a point now where I think we can start to integrate you... I'll just work on them uh, one by one. In fact, let's have you build a 
government administration because then you kind of make up for your own uh, bureaucracy. And then let's speed five until this port is finished. Because that will be so huge for this, uh, this area. And maybe focus on something else. How is, uh, oh yeah, Tripolitania is, uh, whoa! France took, uh, took that coast. Uh, took Libya. And, uh, wow. Rousing speech captivates the public. Yeah, we're really going for it in terms of that uh, police force. I think by now, well, actually, just stick it out. Police force is generally good to have. It will take down the penalties we getting here from uh, from turmoil. Um, so that will be good, but uh, it's going to be a bit rough on the uh, bureaucracy side of things. Um, so let's keep speed fiving and move up this government administration. This should really be made in a dra drag and drop system, but it isn't. Die works accident. Oh no. Anyways, let's watch this port finish. It's called Port Harcourt in game. Of course, in uh, in this timeline where it's uh, colonized by Germans, it will be called something in German. I I thought Adelbertshafen would be cute because uh, our heir is Adelbert. Heir apparent, Adalbert of Hannover, who is really bad, by the way, but we'll deal with him later. But this is Adalbert's Haven finally completing, as we are also climbing out of deficit. That is great. So, there it is, Adalbert's Haven. So, January 30, 1857, and the first boats are coming into Adalbert's Haven to supply the colony on the Niger Delta. If you like that YouTube, then you should totally leave a like. If you don't like uh, my colonial expansion, then leave your comments. In any case, subscribe and ding the bell so you are notified when the next episode goes live, and I will see you then. Bye-bye!